Hey everyone, it is Jazz Hustles back at it with another seller amp tutorial for you guys today. So today I'm actually gonna be showing you this really cool new feature that seller amp just recently came out with that is going to speed up your sourcing process when it comes to online sourcing. So this is a really simple process and a really simple feature that you can use literally today. There's no extra cost. It is completely free as long as you have the seller amp subscription already. And if you don't, make sure to go down to the link in the description so then you can start your free trial today. But without further ado, if you haven't already, make sure to like it up and subscribe to the Seller Amp YouTube channel. Okay, so first things first, we have the Quick View Simplified. So the Seller Amp QVS. So this is similar to DS Quick View. I don't know if some of you guys have heard of DS Quick View, but DS Quick View, you do have to pay for the full version. Seller Amp already has you with the Quick View Finder. And with this feature, you can easily see the product details right on the Amazon search page rather than clicking the whole listing entirely. So you can see the product ASIN, you can see if Amazon is selling the product directly, you can see exactly how much FBA and FBM sellers there is, plus the variation and the number and details on the listing, the BSR, and also the first review. So this is gonna be super helpful, super beneficial for people who want to be be quicker whenever they are sourcing. So it's really simple. If you already have the Seller Amp subscription, all you have to do is go to the Google Chrome and then go on Seller Amp and you'll see this is the link. If you go on the website, you can actually get the link if you scroll down and you click here, available in the Chrome web store and it automatically take you there. You have to remember to go on your Google Chrome and not any other browser. So you're just gonna add it to your extension and then you're going to go to your Google Chrome extension settings and make sure it's toggled on. Cause if not, then it's not going to fully show you everything. Then all you gotta do is go on Amazon, start your reverse sourcing process, and that's pretty much it. So right here, I just put the search crackers. So we can already see when we scroll down, we already have all of this information, and this can help us speed up the process of our sourcing. So first things first, whenever you are reverse sourcing, I don't recommend looking at the first few pages just because those are kind of like the best sellers and Amazon usually tends to be on all of those or the brand itself. So what I would do is look into like the next three pages. Let me see here. Three, we'll do the fourth page. So we're gonna go to the fourth page and then now we're good to go. When I wait for it to load. Um, and also another thing that I would recommend is having your products price that like your sale price at around maybe 15 and up now since this is groceries 15 and up but you don't want anything to be like less than like ten dollars because just keep in mind that there's amazon fees and you're probably gonna have to find it for way cheaper so we can actually filter click here scroll down and we want our price to be at least 15 we'll put 20 and then we can lower down our price as the max. We can just put 100 and then we'll click go. And now it's gonna show us all the products that are listed over that $15, $20 price. Rather than showing us products that sell for like $5, $10, cause just know that you're not most likely not even gonna be profitable. So that's some game there when reverse sourcing. So first things first, we're gonna look into all of these statistics. You always wanna make sure that you're not hopping on a listing that Amazon is on. So if you can tell right here, this is sold by Amazon. This one right here is not sold by Amazon. This one is sold by Amazon. This one is not, this one is, this one is. It's just super quick, super efficient. So then now you know that, you know, Amazon is already on it. Now, whenever you do want to compete with Amazon, you just have to make sure that they're not hogging the buy box. If they are hogging the buy box, then you're not gonna wanna hop on that listing, especially if you're just an arbitrage seller. Now, the next thing you wanna look at is at least three plus FBA sellers, three plus. So this one says one plus, but I'm not even gonna look at it because it's, it's sold by Amazon. This only has one FBA seller. Now that seller is most likely the brand or some type of brand direct type seller because there is only one seller. There has to be a reason why there's only one seller when there's so much sellers in this world. And as we can tell, we're gonna see it's probably the brand. Now I say at least three plus because that basically lets us know that we're good to sell it as well. So the brand is Partake right there, but we can tell here Partake Foods right there, sold by Partake Foods. So the brand is selling this product. So we are not going to wanna to sell this item. Then that's why I say to look for at least three plus FBA sellers and above. Now, if you're doing FBM, you would probably wanna do the same thing, three plus FBM sellers. So this one I'm not gonna click just because it says one FBA, one FBM and Amazon. This one is only one FBA. Um, this one has two FBA, two FBA. So I'm gonna scroll 
all of these have Amazon except this one, but this is two FBA. We're gonna keep scrolling. And it's just like so much simpler. Like if you didn't have this extension added, you're probably gonna wanna click on every single one and waste your time. Like how I just opened this tab here, you're gonna waste your time and it's just way quicker doing it this way. So let's see now, Amazon, no. This one has 11 plus FBM, uh, Amazon. This has three, three FBA sellers. Let me see. This one is weird. It's like, um, cause there's no Amazon on it, but it just has three, not three plus. So let's see. Assortment. Yeah, this is, this one would be weird. This is an actual like gift box and you wouldn't want to sell it cause it's literally the brand. Like if, if the person isn't getting it in the Nairo gift box, then you shouldn't even be selling it cause you're not Nairo. And you see Nairo is the one that created. So usually I don't look at, look into these type of listings cause someone created that listing kind of like this one. So see six boxes. So let's keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Let's see if I can try and find one for you guys. And if you see that, you know, you're still not finding anything, then you can always either search up a different product. Oh, look, there's this one FBA six plus FBM five plus. That's good. And Amazon is not on it. Let's look into it a little further. MY Sand Corp, MY Sand. Okay, so it sells over 300 times a month. 19 KBSR. Let's see what it's going for. Let's click on the G and search it, search it up. So they have these for 744, and we have to find a two pack under 1097. Mm -hmm. Don't ever, um, don't ever buy from this website. That's a scam website. You'll tell. So it seems like all of these are like 7.99. If we were able to get um, two packs for $7.99, that would be perfect, but we would have to do $7.99 times two, um, which is not gonna work for us. That's gonna be around $16, and we have to be under $10.97 to be profitable. Um, right now it's going for almost $30, so you can always try and price yours higher. That's, that's pretty much that. If you guys want more help with actually sourcing products and try to figure out what to look for when sourcing, then you're gonna have to go to the Seller Amp YouTube videos because there's a lot of tutorials um, created by a lot of Amazon sellers that you guys may know of. And I definitely recommend looking into all the tutorials, binge watching all the YouTube videos on the Seller Amp YouTube channel. And yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys this really cool feature that is going to speed up your process and sourcing. This one we can click right because it says four FBA, four FBM. And this is pretty much it. It's a really simple and um, efficient feature. And you guys should definitely add this to your computer if you haven't already. If you learned anything new in this video, make sure to like it up and subscribe for more. Let's actually scroll. Let's look at this one. Two plus FBA. Let me actually see. One, six, two. We can look at this one. So these are crackers. I'm going to search it up. Max cost is $16.24. Shopping. Usually what I like doing is taking out all this un extra, I mean, all this extra stuff. So I'm just going to, I'll take this out. Cause we can always bundle our own items. So it seems like we can get, how much is this? A six pack, right? Six pack with eight crackers in each. So let's say, I think the only one I'm seeing here is Instacart. Yes, that wouldn't work. So let me just delete and go into the next one. Let's see if we can do like page seven or something. Yeah, you guys would want to look into the pages after the fact. And you're starting to see like once we are getting away from the first few pages, Amazon is not really much on all these, like this one and this one. We can look even further. See, Amazon's not on any of these except these two. So you can see the FBA, FBM, um, if Amazon's on it, you can um, automatically copy the ASIN. It will tell you if there's already variations on the listing. Um, it tells you the rank on what's the ranking for this certain product, product in this certain category. So these are graham crackers. So this is number 55 in graham crackers. These are flatbread crackers. This is number 213. And we have the most recent review. Crackers are thick and best with butter. I didn't read, that's cool that they have the most recent review. Let me see what else. And then they also have the dimensions of the product. And yeah, if you wanna look into everything further, that's simple, all you do is just click. And what I recommend doing when you are reverse sourcing, don't just like 
find a product and start looking at it like I recommend at least like opening like three to four different tabs so then now all you have to do let me just delete these is go through these and just bam 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 so if this is good not good BSR is not the best bam now the next one only sells in about 19 times a month um, but you can still look into it just to see if there's you know any low competition um, max cost is 17 and then this one 42 times a month max cost is 33 this is a pack of 12 so there's certain ways that you would want to store so then you can be more quick and more efficient so then you're not spending all day sourcing and you're actually finding a good amount of products fairly quickly but that's pretty much it with this tutorial and I'm so glad that this feature came out it's super helpful super helpful for beginners that are not too quick on their feet when it comes to sourcing but if you guys haven't already make sure to like it up and subscribe for more more. comment down below any other video requests that you would like to see from me and if you haven't already make sure to go to my personal youtube channel jazz hustles where i also post extra tutorials on there also using summer so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys real soon on the next one